way I'm poor. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. This is Patrick. Patrick uh, from the True City Fan Channel. This is the preview between Man City versus Liverpool. Uh, the game is going to be played on Thursday. Uh, for the UK people, it's going to be at 8 p.m. Uh, before we go on, guys, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe. There's a lot of you people who haven't subscribed yet. Subscribe, guys. What are you waiting for? We're trying to get to 1.5. 1.5 by the end of the year, uh, 1,500 subscribers. Then we'll move on and hit another target of 2,000. And maybe you never know one day, 10, 10, 10,000. You never know. You never know. Let's be ambitious. But anyway, let's get into this. Um, Obviously, we're coming from the World Cup. The World Cup was amazing. Everything that we looked for is interesting. Nice final. Messi finally got the the World Cup uh, trophy he's been looking for. The GOAT, the GOAT debate is over. For the Ronaldo fans, I know you're in tears right now. It hurts, it hurts, but anyway, let's move on. So, Liverpool versus Man City. Uh, not particularly excited with this one, to be honest with you. The only reason why I'm excited is to see Man City play, but I'm not excited with the game overall because we do know most of the players are not back and we do know the team is not going to be the team that we have, we're going to see the rest of the season. But anyway, let's get into this, guys. Welcome to the channel. And for the guys who are going to be watching this later, this is recorded. Uh, I'm going to uh, premiere this, but it's recorded. Uh, make sure you comment. Make sure you like the vid. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section below. So, let's get this. As I said, it's going to be Man City uh, versus um, Liverpool uh, for the Carabao Cup. Uh, this takes you over to the next uh, to the next round. Uh, look, guys, to be honest with you, as I said, uh, the teams are going to be a, a bit different. But you know, Liverpool had most of the players... I think most of the players not got the World Cup. Dan, Darwin Nunes was put in out of the World Cup early. Liverpool have had few friendlies. Uh, Man City have played against Girona. Uh, they played against Girona and won 2 0, kept a clean sheet. Ortega was amazing in that. Um, the kids were also amazing in that. So I'm not looking, really looking forward to this match, to be honest. And we haven't got a good record against uh, Liverpool this, this year, believe it or not. I was just looking at the record, versus record. Um, uh, between Liverpool and City, it's not great. It's not a get. It's not a great record, to be honest with you. If you look at that, uh, we've uh, had um, we've had two wins. We've won twice. Uh, if you look at that record, if I'm looking at the record right, we, we've won twice, and that's a record from 2021, I think. So, uh, 2021 onwards, uh, the one one nil is the latest one three one. It hasn't been great. The record against uh, recently against Liverpool hasn't been great, and our last match we played them. And I expected us to beat them because Liverpool were not as uh, strong as they were. They got beaten by United, a United team that wasn't that great. But we look like we always drop the ball against Liverpool. And I myself, as a fan, to be honest with you, it's sort of annoying because every time we play Liverpool, it's never up to our team being that bad. It's up to the team setup. Uh, like the last game we played Liverpool, we had De Bruyne playing as a, a right winger. So, look, Pep, I hope you get your shit in order and we play this game. Uh, uh, we play this game how you play all the games. You don't have to change for Liverpool. You don't. You really don't have to. Just field the team you field. That's what we keep saying. We're asking for that. Anyway, injury reports. I don't think anybody has, uh, is injured. I haven't seen any reports of somebody being injured. I know John Stones was, uh, had a, a bit of a knock in the England uh, uh, during the World Cup, but I think he was fine. Walker is back. He was uh, he was amazing against Mbappe. Uh, De Bruyne came back uh, to training. Laporte has come back to training. Ake is back in training. Akanji is back in training. Rodri is back in training. Gundogan is back in training. So, look, we don't have any injury reports at this point in time. Uh, but as I said, the record is not great against Liverpool. Uh, Liverpool, obviously, will want to continue beating us. Uh, they haven't lost against City this season at all, believe it or not, since the FA Cup tie. Uh, where they beat us 3-2. So Liverpool haven't lost against City. They're very, very good record against City, and they will be confident coming into this game. Uh, but I think the boys also, at the end of the day, I, to be honest with you, I wouldn't take the Carabao Cup very seriously. That's just me. Some people might say they'll take it seriously. I wouldn't. The other reason why I want to win this game is for that record to change. I don't want Liverpool to continue having the record over us. I think it just, it's not that, that great when Liverpool have... 
such a record uh, over you because you, Liverpool people, whether you like it or not, whether people say, "Oh, this is not the same Liverpool team," uh, this Liverpool team is dusted, or we, we don't really care about them. For me, I still consider them as the threat in England to Man City at this point in time. I know Arsenal is at the top of the table, but to be honest with you, I consider Liverpool more of a threat. Uh, to be honest, regardless of the fact that. Uh, we ourselves are doing better than them because I know even Liverpool can turn up in the in the Champions League and uh, beat a few teams, including ourselves, because we don't, as I said, we don't have a good record. So look, let's just look at the positives. Look, uh, the lineup is going to be weird. To be honest with you, when I'm when we're doing the lineup in a few minutes, I will have Ortega as the keeper. I don't know if Edison is back. I haven't seen any pictures of Edison back. But even if Edison was back, I think I'll play Ortega because. We have seen Ortega that he's more than capable to be a good deputy in the in the in the cup games. So look, uh, for me to be good. So let's go to the lineup before we go to the score prediction. Um, I'm as I said, I'm just I'm just happy that Man City is back. Uh, the World Cup was amazing. People are hating the World Cup. I don't know why you're hating. It was amazing. It had all the drama, all the twists and turns, the storylines, the agendas, the narratives were amazing. But anyway, let's move over to the lineup. Let's get the lineup on. But before we go to the lineup, guys, don't forget to like the video. Like the video, and we're trying to get to 1.5 on the channel. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Subscribe, man. Subscribe. So anyway, let's move on to the lineup. Um, I don't even know how the lineup is gonna be. Uh, but if I were Pep, even the players just that have just returned, like the players just came back, I would still play them because most of them were at the World Cup. That means the match fit. Because you, you, you're coming from the World Cup, you're match fit, you can play. I think I would still play them. Rodri was amazing as a centre-back for Spain, but I don't think we're going to see him because all the centre-backs are there back. Go. He's okay. been very amazing, to be honest. Every time he plays, every time he's debutized for uh, for Edison, at Ortega has been amazing. Centre-back pairing. Um, I don't know. I say that Kanji is back. Uh, Laporte is back. Um, that's, those are the two I've seen. So you know what? It's going to be... There's a Kanji Laporte Ake. Ah, who would we go with right now? Who? Walker is not bad. So you know what? Ah, no. Should I play a Kanji as a right back? Or do you play Nico Ruiz as a right back? You know what? I'll do this. We'll go like this. Uh, Ake. We'll go like this. Uh, Kanji. Uh, because I think uh, everybody deserves opportunity. So I'll go a Kanji and... Laporte. And uh, here I'm going to go with Lewis. Yeah, I saw him during the Girona game. This kid is amazing. I think throw him in. Throw him in. Um, I could have gone with Wilson S. Brand myself, but I think Gomez needs minutes and he needs to get used to playing with the team. So for the left back, I'll go. So for the back right now, we've got Ortega, we've got Akanji. We've got Laporte and we've got Gomez. So in midfield, it's going to be Rodri. Uh, Rodri is going to be uh, Rodri is going to be in midfield. I think is uh, one of the ones that came back, and I think he's much fit. As I said, he has got rest, but he was immense for Spain as a centre back. But I think he'll be in. So for the midfield, it's quite simple. I only saw Gundogan. Uh, that's who I saw in training. I didn't see any Bernardo Silva. So we're going to go with De Bruyne. Um, Broin and that's it. Yeah, so right winger. Uh, it's gonna pick itself to be honest. The only senior right winger that's with us right now is Riyad Myers, and he's back. He's back, and then uh, striker. We're gonna go with Haaland. He scored a goal against Girona. He didn't look that sharp, but I think he'll be ready for this. Uh, left. Left, I don't know if he's going to go with. Uh, is he going to go with Cole Palmer? Is he? Uh, would he play Cole Palmer? Maybe I think he would play Cole Palmer. Um, I don't know. Uh, for the left one, I'm not sure, but I, you know what? I'll go with Palmer. I just go with Palmer. Might as well because he's one of the senior ones here, to be honest. So, guys, that's the lineup. The lineup is Ortega, Lewis. Akanji, Laporte, Gomez, Rodri, 
uh, De Bruyne, Gundogan, Haaland, Myers, and Palmer. So this is the lineup I have picked, personally picked, to play against Liverpool on Thursday. I don't know what you think, you guys. In the comments, please let me know what lineup you'd pick. Let me know what position you think I had to change. Uh, let me know in the comments, guys. Guys, like the vid, like the vid, like the vid. Let's go to the part where everybody doesn't like, most people don't like. Score prediction. As I said, it hasn't been great against Liverpool. Uh, we have indeed done well against Liverpool. This season, we haven't beaten them yet. Since the FA Cup, we haven't beat them, beaten them yet. So, whew, score prediction. Look, I. it's difficult to predict. It's truly difficult to predict. But you know what I'm going to go for? I'm going to be confident with the boys, you know. Haaland to score. Haaland to score against Liverpool. Finally, why is in England? Haaland to score against Liverpool. Uh, I think we're going to beat Liverpool 2-1. It's going to be a, a slight 2-1. We'll win 2-1. So, guys, that's the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, guys, and share the video. And uh, we'll see each other next time. We'll see each other after the, the game. After the game, I'm going to do a, a post-match. Uh, after we watch the game on, on Thursday, I'm going to do a post-match. I'll be joined by the usual people. I'm pretty sure some of the people will be free. But for now, guys... Thank you very much for always watching. Uh, thank you for the for 2002 to 2022. It's been a great year, guys. I thank all of you. Um, since I started the channel, I never knew that um, I will get to subscribe the subscribers I have. But a lot of you guys have subscribed, supported the channel. I look at the comments. I try my best to get into the comments and talk to some of you guys in the comments. I appreciate you all, guys. I appreciate. Keep watching, guys. Uh, come on, City. Bye.